Did it hold in the appeal? Yeah. Um, yeah, it did. I mean, but you know, you actually got to make the best decision for yourself, and that's what I did. And I mean, I, I felt more comfortable with um, Andy, so um, you know, I just really wanted an agent, and I took my time with it because you know, I really wanted to, you know. So did you sit down with Jay Z and talk with them? Uh, no, I didn't. What's it going to be like to see yourself in NBA 2K14 this year? Oh, that's going to be unreal. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be good being able to um, play my cousin and beat him with my own players. So, I mean, I'm just looking forward to that. You know, it's just surreal um, being in a video game like that that you've been playing since you was like. What kind of player ratings do you want to see for yourself in the game? At least around 80 or something. And, uh, you know, I want to be able to do some things for myself. What's your favorite NBA video game memory? when you were growing up? Video game memory? Yeah, NBA and video game memory. Mm, I don't got a specific memory. I mean, I play video games or whatever. No, I think like, what do you have to do? Uh, what, what do you think you need to be your ideal weight and strength and how long do you want to take to get there? Um, my ideal weight, um, I think it, I mean, uh, the most I've been is 225. So I mean, right now I'm at 217. So I think I could definitely get right back up um, to 225, 225, 230 by the um, start. But when I get when I come back, well, just, okay, but so is there a, a weight you'd like to get to later where you think you know, a year from now, two years from, do you see yourself being at 240 or can you get to 250? Is that too heavy or? Oh yeah, definitely. But you know, um, with myself, you know, I just definitely want to put on weight gradually. You know, definitely keep my mobility and my athleticism. Um, throughout my career, you know, not pack on weight um, so soon. But I mean, just definitely, you know, progressively just putting on weight and um, just being able to maintain my mobility. How disappointed was it for you not to be able to finish the season? How much do you think it hurt your progress? I mean, yeah, it was very disappointing to myself. I mean, I mean not being able to um, play with those guys and finish the season. Um, was a real emotional thing for me, but you know, um, I, I stay positive about it. You know, I was at every practice, you know, cheering them guys on, you know, just making sure I give them the good support they needed, and um, so, you know, they could finish time, see the best they could. Now, what the was your experience like when you went down to Orlando to meet with uh, Rob in uh, the front office of the Magic? What my experience? Like? Yeah, what was it like when you were down there? Oh, it was great. I mean, they got a great um, group of guys down there. You know, really, um, really, you know. Um, confident about their program, you know, really um, serious about it and getting, getting back to um, a championship contending team. So, I mean, I really, I really like them, you know, they're real good guys. Do they what? give you, what, what kind of feedback do they give you when you met with them? Um, yeah, good feedback. Um, I, I, I'm, I think they like me, um, but, you know, um, you know, you just let cause, you let the cause fall tomorrow. What's, What's the, the process been like for showing for, the status um, of the year the health status of the What's the process been like throughout this whole pre-draft process and showing the health of your knee to the various teams? Um, uh, yeah, it's been different. You know, I haven't been, you know, dunking balls. I mean, I've had more doctors, you know, just checking out my knee and checking out my knee and, um, you know, just, um, I mean, it's been, a, it's been a different process than other guys have been through. But, you know, I mean, I just, you know, I just took it day by day and, you know, um, just really, um, took it all in. And, you know, down the road, you want to make sure you have this memory. So, you know. Can right. the magic, what can Magic fans expect from you uh, once you, if you do end up in Orlando and, and you get back to playing again? What, what can they expect from, from you playing? Um, you know, just definitely a great worker that wants to come down and you know, you know, take his game to another level. So you know, I can be um, that player and um, you know, just be able to um, bring the team back to promised land with, with um, you know, young, young, the young players they have, and um, you know, we want to. Um, be a championship contender team, and I want to, you know, be able to say that I've won um, championship down the road when I retire. When do you, what do you think about Jack Vaughn? Oh yeah, he's great. I mean, he's one of those one of those player coaches that you could always talk to, and you know, you could tell him about anything. Was this your game plan when you were in high school? One and one and out. Was it, was it what you were thinking about going to college? I mean, was, was this what you were thinking? No, um, I went into college. Um, looking to get better and, you know, become a better player and, you know, learn a lot from Coach Kahn like I did. Um, he's, he's taught me so much just at my one year at Kentucky. Um, I mean, really just taking it um, by stride, but, you know, I've been, I'm still ahead of schedule, like I said, and, I mean, hopefully by October, November.
What will it mean to have Cal sitting at your? You talk so much about what he's, the impact he's on you. Have him sitting at your table tomorrow night. Oh yeah, I mean a lot. I mean Coach Cal is one of the you know biggest mentors of my life. Um, you know, and he's been, he's taught me so much. I mean, just through the one year I was at Kentucky, and you know, it mean a lot to have him there just with me. And, I mean, we we've really grown close in just that one year. Is Glenn your biggest competition? You think for the top spot? I mean, I don't know. I think y'all would know that more better than I would. Is there? What have you thought about the talk that he he could be the guy too? I don't pay attention to the talk. You and Michael Carter Williams played in high school together in Treader Team in Syracuse. Uh, how cool is it now to be going through this process together? Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's great. I mean I was just with him uh, before I came here, and I mean we're just really, you know, we're just really, you know, this is a dream come true for us. I mean. So, I mean, we're just taking it all in and I mean, just being able to have him here, growing up with him, I mean, it's real special. Now, when you became sort of known in Lexington as a guy that was very charitable, spent a lot of time with sick children, now that you're going to be have a lot more influence and certainly more resources, what do you hope to do in those regards? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, um, just being able to get back to the kids, you know, that honest fortune as myself, I mean, really means a lot to me. Because, you know, growing up, I mean, I mean, I, I always wanted to, you know, have a um, chance to, you know, meet, meet a player that I really looked up to, like a Kevin Garnett or a Paul Pierce. I mean, just to be able to be in the position I am today, I mean, I really want to give back and, you know, make that kid, you know, smile and um, that, that kids are going through tough times. And um, so, I mean, I'm definitely really fortunate to be in this position.